Hello everybody. So in this video I will show you how to make some really simple zinc bromide static battery. Because how to make this type of battery I was asked a lot of times, but instead of replaying to everyone, I will just make this video how to make some really simple zinc bromide static battery. And here I have some cell designs for zinc bromide batteries. So this one is some flow type, some zinc bromide flow battery. Some zinc bromide flow battery have two external electrolyte tanks. One is for the positive electrolyte and another is for the negative electrolyte. And of course two pumps. These two pumps pumping the electrolyte from uh, the electrolyte tank into the positive and the negative uh, electrode. And back to the electrolyte tank. And this is some standard flow battery type. And here we have some semi-flow cell design, uh, which means that this semi-flow cell design have only one external electrolyte tank and only one pump. So this version is a little bit less complex like this one. And here we have some membrane-free cell design, or also better known like gravity cell design. So on the bottom we have some positive electrode and here we have some negative electrode. And everything is socket in to the electrolyte. And you see instead of using some separator we have some distance between the positive and the negative electrode. And for the last we have this. This is some zinc bromide static battery design. And, like you see, this design is almost similar to other batteries. So you have the negative and the positive current collector, you have the negative active material, you have the positive active material, and and between you have some separator, and everything is socket into the electrolyte, and that's it. So, this will be your static cell design. And now I will make some really simple zinc bromide static battery, like this one. Okay, like I said in the beginning, now I will show you how to make some really simple zinc bromide static battery itself. But this zinc bromide battery will be without any bromide complex zinc engine. This is because I don't have it. But I will make this cell anyway. So first of all I will start with positive current collector. The material which I will use for making some positive current collector is this graphite plate. But instead of using graphite plate, you can also use some graph oil. Uh, so, it's good for zinc bromide batteries that the positive electrode is made mostly from carbon based materials. Because carbon based materials will not so easily react with the bromide. Okay? And here I have some activated carbon felt. So this is not some ordinary carbon felt, but this is some activated carbon felt. But instead of using some activated carbon felt, you can also use some activated carbon powder. It's almost the same. Here I have also some separator. This separator is some ordinary toilet paper and the negative electrode. The negative electrode in my case is this, some metal zinc. But instead of using some metal zinc you can also use some graphite plate also for the negative electrode. Because when you charge this type of battery the graphite plate on the negative side will be covered with the zinc. So the zinc will be electroplated on the surface of this graphite. But like I said, in my case, I will use zinc electrode. And the electrolyte. The electrolyte will be some two more of zinc bromide. But this zinc bromide already have some sodium sulfate for the supporting electrolyte. And I will also add a little bit of zinc sulfate, which is here. 
So two more of zinc bromide and around one and a half more of uh, sodium sulfate. So you see that it's a little bit hard for this activated carbon felt to soak the electrolytes. That's why I need to help a little bit. Okay. The separator. Two more of zinc bromide and now I will also add several drops of zinc sulfate for extra supporting electrolyte. But in this case you can also add some bromide complexing agent. But like I said, I don't have it. So I will make this cell without this complexing agent. And now I will charge this cell. Okay, this will be enough. So I charge this cell with 1.9 volts. But now I will disconnect this cell uh, from this power supply. Okay. This is really nice. And here I have some motor from some drone. This drone motor is a little bit heavy load. Because this motor can take really high current. But actually for this small zinc bromide static battery, uh, the power output is quite impressive. Really impressive. Okay, so the next step, what you need to do is um, to make some really good housing for this cell that you will not get any leakage of the electrolyte and so on. So this was some really basic construction, how to make some zinc bromide static battery cell design. So guys, that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.